How you doing? My name is Dr. Sami Baya. Please welcome back to my YouTube channel. Why covert narcissists are dangerous. That is the title of today's episode. 10 reasons why covert narcissists are dangerous. Covert narcissists are the most dangerous type of narcissists. And I'm going to give you the 10 reasons. Number one, covert narcissists are chameleons. We know a chameleon changes colors. And the covert narcissist is exactly that. They are real hypocrites. The covert narcissists are master manipulators. They can manipulate you based on the environment and situation, just like the way chameleons change their colors. Therefore, what makes covert narcissists so dangerous is their ability to manipulate and control everything surrounding them. They have this special ability to control you, to control your environment, and to control everything about you surrounding you the covert narcissist has this excellent acting skills that enable them to fool people most of the times people tend to have this kind of security with this they feel safe with this covert narcissist the narcissist wins that security uh, they make people they make their victims believe that they should feel sorry for the covert narcissist because the covert narcissist is an expert at playing the victim card. Number two reason why the covert narcissist is so dangerous is because they are hypersensitive to criticism. A covert narcissist will swing into narcissistic rage. They'll be extremely enraged by just a small criticism smallest type of criticism regarding them, regarding how they are behaving, regarding their work, regarding anything that they are involved in, the covert narcissist will swing into narcissistic rage. And this is mainly because of their fragile, very, very fragile self-esteem. Just small criticism makes the covert narcissist very angry. And they could lash out at themselves or they could lash out at you they can even become violent when they are enraged through criticism. Number three reason why the covert narcissist is deadly, is dangerous, is because they use your secrets and your weaknesses against you. The covert narcissist, they know exactly how to analyze people quickly. And they are therefore able to spot even the slightest weakness within you. They will also quickly love bomb you once they interact with you to, you know, in order to win your trust. And that way you'll trust them and you'll find yourself telling the covert narcissist your secrets. And you know what? The covert narcissist will use your secrets to manipulate you, to backstab you, to control you, to gaslight you, to destroy and hurt you. The number four reason why covert narcissists are so dangerous is that when we look at the overt narcissist, such as the malignant narcissists, you'll notice that the overts are what you see is what you get. But with covert narcissists, it's not easy to see the it's not easy to see the red flags that you'll see in a malignant overt narcissist, for instance. With the malignant and the overt narcissist, you'll see the arrogance, the self-centeredness, the grandiosity, the lack of empathy, the constant need for validation, constant need for praise and attention. It is so clear. But when you look at the covert narcissist, when you compare the covert narcissist with this typical textbook narcissist, then you will realize that one thing with the covert narcissist, they have less empathy. They feel more entitled and they are even more passive-aggressive. But covert narcissists are very difficult to spot. And for the covert narcissists, the idea of being unsuspected, the idea of being, of, of, of being difficult to be identified, it validates their intelligence. It gives the covert narcissist a huge boost of adrenaline. The covert narcissists, they appear sensitive. They are actually, they are very sensitive. They, are, they have fragile little souls that need to be saved. That is how they appear. That is how they portray themselves. But the truth is that the covert narcissist 
always have their plans as dark as the night. They are so hidden. And they are big hypocrites. And they are master pretenders. They are very good at pretending even to be empaths. You might even mistake a covert narcissist for an empath. That, that, now that shows you how dangerous this covert narcissist is. The number five reason why covert narcissists are so dangerous is that they appear insecure. They are self-deprecating. And this makes them very difficult to spot. It is very difficult to be friends with a covert narcissist because these coverts are always or constantly trying to compare themselves with others. So if you're friends with them, they're, they'll be constantly comparing themselves with you. It's so difficult to maintain friendship with them. It's tough. The other reason why covert narcissists are dangerous is that they have this mission to make you fall under their spell. The covert narcissists, they want to control you. They want to control people. That is their main desire. This gives them confirmation that they are very powerful and very important. One thing about the covert narcissists is they don't look at their victims as people. Instead, they look at their victims as objects, as tools, as equipments to be used and discarded. The narcissism of covert narcissists is so extreme. It is so insidious that you will not have any idea of what you are dealing with. Now, because of this ability that the covert narcissists have of deceiving people, of cheating people, of going unnoticed for a long, long, long time, this alone makes narcissists more dangerous than even the overt narcissists. On the surface, the covert narcissists appear to be totally normal. You know, life with them appears to be normal. But it will, only, it will only need someone close, very close to a covert narcissist to understand, to unmask how harmful the covert narcissist is. The covert narcissist, they love playing the victim. They love portraying themselves as them versus the world. They love acting like a nice person, a good person, a holy person. Someone who has never been loved. Someone who has never been given attention, recognition, praise, acknowledgement that they deserve. So when you are learning and knowing the covert narcissist, you will feel pity for them. You will have, you'll be sympathetic. You will even think that life is unfair to them. You will think that they deserve more success. They deserve much, much, much more better things more in, in their life. So you become their friend. You become, uh, you become their cheerleader. Now, the covert narcissist will start playing the passive-aggressive games on you. But surprisingly, you find yourself making excuses for their actions because you've already been gaslighted, manipulated to not want to be like the other people who think that the covert narcissist has a problem. Now, the fact is this. You are not any special to this covert narcissist. Eventually, they will discard you. Eventually, after using you, after getting bored with you, they will just mistreat you. They will throw you in the dustbin. Working with a covert narcissist again is overwhelming because oh, they have so much, so many demands. They are very indecisive. They, 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 will, they will look like they are indecisive. But they are very demanding. And again, they don't take responsibility. They will always blame others. They will make mistakes and blame others. That's what covert narcissists do. They believe they are always right. They believe they are more superior than others. They believe they are better than anyone else. They believe that they deserve special treatment, special favors. They will never take responsibility. They will never be accountable for what you say, for what they say, for what even they do, for anything that goes wrong. They'll blame you. They'll blame you for what they do wrong. They'll blame you for their own mistakes and failures. Now, the bonus reason why the covert narcissists are so dangerous is that they'll gaslight you. They'll gaslight everyone around them. The covert narcissist will make you question your reality so that you lose your sense of self-worth and identity. They will lie to you. They will tell you things that deny and deny that they say them. 
They will twist the, the truth. They will make you feel like you are going crazy. Examples of things the covert narcissists will say to gaslight you include, they will tell you that you are crazy. They will remind you, without me in your life, you are nothing. They'll, that way they are trying to portray that you, you, are, you are not strong enough to be to survive without them. They will tell you something and deny it and tell you that and tell you that I never said that. They will always try to turn situations around by telling you the way they understand things is not the way you think. They'll also accuse you of that you're always seeing the negative side of things. They'll even tell you, I can't tell you anything. I can't talk to you. And that way is a way of devaluing you. They're a way of them hurting your self-confidence. When things go bad, maybe you've fallen out with your relative, a friend, they'll tell you, you know, I told you so. So they use triangulation here to play the game of divide and rule, divide and conquer. So they will also gaslight you and tell you, you know what, you don't understand what I've always been trying to explain to you, what I've always been trying to tell you. All these statements are ways of, of the covert narcissist trying to manipulate you, control you. And that's why the covert narcissist is said to be so dangerous. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not done so.